Deathmatch. Hello, VG247's Dave Cook here, playing some Call of Duty Ghosts Invasion DLC. Right now I'm checking out a brand new map called Pharaoh. It's a big map with plenty of open spaces, together with some tighter interiors like this one here. Overall you want to play a cautious game here, as there is always multiple ways to be seen. Running around corners generally isn't advised in Call of Duty full stop, but you won't really last long if you take that approach here. Up the left side you'll find plenty of high walls that do give you moments of low visibility, although many routes can still be seen from higher vantage points. There are some spots in Pharaoh that will benefit snipers, but I like the fact there are a few guaranteed safe zones for them to hold. My general rule with these games is to always take the long way round if the shorter path can potentially get you killed. That's definitely something you should consider here. There are safe routes around the wider kill zones that you should try and learn. Moving into the tombs, you should always be aware of enemies sprinting out of the opposing spawn. Take your time. Approach cover at an angle to give yourself the best possible aim and get your scope up around each turn. You'll be amazed at how often you'll catch someone foolishly running into a room without their gun drawn, making for an easy kill. Here's how you ideally want to enter a wide room like this. Get your scope up as you step foot into the area, then make a break for the nearest piece of cover to take point. Crouch low or prone if needed, then use the lean to stake out the path ahead. There's nothing wrong by taking just a second or two just to make sure the route ahead is clear before moving on. Remember that the minimap is your friend and if satcoms are active you should be aware of nearby enemy blips on the radar. Spatial awareness is really important in this game. I'd say that this area is perhaps the most dangerous of the entire map. It's incredibly exposed and has a total of 5 paths leading into it, which means there are many angles to be shot from. The two routes at the back lead to the spawn point at the start of this video, while another leads to the lower level of the room I just came from. The last path is a steep hill made of rubble that leads up to a high vantage point. It's one of the best vantage points in this sector, but it's not entirely concealed. That's certainly good map design. The ridge of the trench is actually more concealed than many parts of this map, and it gives you a good view of the environment. The trench itself is probably a safer means of getting from one side of the map to the other, although you still need to be aware of threats from above. The potential disadvantage of this route is that it proves so popular that everyone uses it, making it just as dangerous as the open areas. Crouching in the trench can reduce how much of your avatar is on show, making it harder for enemies to pick you off at range. I still wouldn't stay there for too long though. We're coming full circle now, and it's important to note that the path running up the middle of the map is highly exposed. It's thin enough and filled with cover that you can move from point to point carefully, but do remember that using the map's cars as cover can prove lethal. All it takes is for one coot grenade from an enemy to blow up the vehicle, which will kill you instantly if too close. So just be wary of your movement, watch your corners, stick to cover and play a cautious game on Pharaoh. And if you enjoyed that, don't forget to hit the like button. Definitely don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of our Call of Duty videos.